Time is 20 past six. Well, the tabloids have hit back at Heather Mills after her astonishing interview on yesterday's programme. That's the front page of the mirror. Mirror. Um, that is the front page of the Sun. Help, she needs somebody. Uh, all of them, in fact, with the same shot. Um, and the Daily Mail. Oh, come off it, Heather. How dare you compare your ordeal to Kate McCann's? And the interview made headlines in America as well. Now, Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. It was a Heather Mills meltdown on live TV as the one-time Dancing with the Stars contestant ripped into her enemies in a no-holds-barred interview that's now sending shockwaves around the world. Just breaking now, Heather Mills near tears. In a stunning TV confession, the former Dancing contestant reveals why she almost took her own life. A tearful Heather Mills fights back. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Access Hollywood. I'm Billy Bush. A year and a half of media attacks caused Heather to break down. Right now, her explosive interview. A distraught Heather Mills appeared on Britain's GM TV this morning, lashing out at British tabloids and revealing how the bad press has affected her. The big talker tonight is Heather Mills' major meltdown on live television. Paul McCartney's soon-to-be ex-wife lashed out at the British media today for, quote, abusing her for a year and a half while she and her Beatle husband worked out the settlement arrangements of their divorce. Cue the violin. Does anyone, anyone feel sorry for her? Well, I'm joined now by the Sunday Mirror's Carol Malone. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. Uh, as one of those who's perhaps been less than kind to mm -hmm. Heather Mill, uh, uh, Mills in the past, do you feel guilty? Not at all. I mean, I, I, that's a performance. I mean, that, that's a show, you know. Uh, although everyone says she was close to tears, she never actually cried, it has to be said. Uh, uh, and, and she said that the papers would make a big deal of it and say she'd mad, and she's, she's absolutely right. But, you know, no one should be fooled by this. Heather Mills never does anything for nothing. There's a reason behind why she did that interview and why she but chose now to do it. That's a very cynical view. You could actually say, totally you know, cynical. Woman, it, well, no, because I'm, been, because I've been watching this girl. Suicide. I've been watching this girl for years. Um, years and years and years. And I understand exactly how she works. She's not getting what she wants out of this divorce. And so she's decided to cause a bit of a fuss. This is a warning shot across the bows to Paul McCartney. He's been trying to gag her. This is the, this is the story. He wants a gagging clause and thing. And you can absolutely see why he does because of this. Uh, and she's now telling him, OK, you want to play hardball? I'll play hardball. So this is her way of playing hardball. Actually, we have had an extraordinary response to the interview. Here are just uh, a few of them. I was appalled by the self-promoting performance given by Heather Mills on the GMTV Today programme. Her celebrity status gave her the ability to air her grievances, a privilege not given to many really worthwhile causes. She abused this position. To then use the McCanns in order to highlight her complaint was nothing short of a disgrace. I have never bought a newspaper for years because of what Heather is saying now. They handed Sarah Ferguson exactly the same. Thank goodness someone is fighting back at last. Go for it, Heather. We're all behind you. We want proper news, not rubbish. Heather Mills is a disgrace. If she wants to protect her daughter, then she should refrain from losing her rag on live television. How dare she compare herself to the McCanns? Go on, Heather Mills. I hope the campaign works. The press have got away with murder for years and think they are untouchable. So some of the viewers are obviously respecting her speaking out. I mean, she also claims that the death threats have been made about her. Surely, in that sort of circumstance, the press perhaps should back off. Um, well, she says that she's had death threats against her. Um, I don't know if that's true. There's a lot of things Heather says that, that aren't true. Well, she says the police came to her. She says it? the police came to her, but we don't know if it was about a death threat. You know, what everything Heather says is an element of truth in everything she says. I think this performance yesterday was disgraceful. I think it's disgraceful that she aligns herself and compares herself to be in the same situation as Kate and Jerry McCann, or as indeed as Princess Diana. She's not. She's getting divorced. She's been hounded by a paparazzi. This is a woman who... All of yesterday, from, from early morning to for the rest of the day, put herself in the media spotlight. She uses the media. She well, claims she, she never she does. She said that she did that because of the fact that she, it's her only way of fighting yeah, back. But, but she's been told that that's not the way to fight back. She, has, she pays for legal advice. She's been, she pays for advice from her publicist, who has now resigned because of what happened yesterday. You know, and she says all this stuff about how she's broke and she's got a you know, million and a half pounds of debt. You know, she's been buying houses all of this year. She's actually spending this weekend 100000 pounds on a birthday party for her child if she's so well, broke well she don't says do it. she says she didn't do that either so she hasn't spent that much money anyway carol malone we have to leave it there thank you very Pleasure. much
And the only place you can see the full and exclusive interview with Heather Mills is on the website gm.tv. Well, we're joined now by their Sunday Mirrors, Carol Malone. Um, obviously, Carol, she was very upset during that interview um, and, and clearly has become a huge target for the tabloids. But what, why? Why has she become this target? You know, I, what, because I, th I think it's been, you know, time and time again we have found out that things that she has said are patently not true. But what is odd about Heather, she mentioned a figure of stories, abusive stories yesterday. She said 4,400 stories have been in the press. I wonder why it is then that never once has she gone to the Press Complaints Commission. Not once has she complained about any of the stories. Not once has she sued over the untruth. She has, she has sued my paper uh, about a mistake we made. You know, she says things that, that the tabloids make things up. That is not true. You know, there are very strict laws governing oh, all newspapers. Carol. No, but Fiona, yeah, so what there about, are. Well, what, about and, the, and, what about the well, allegations of, of the, the amount for the divorce settlement, which clearly she said all of that's made up, because regularly okay. we'll read any of the newspapers that will say she's going to get 100 million, she's going to get 50 million. And she's saying yesterday, she said on the show quite blatantly, that's not true. Okay, she said, she said, how does anyone know that I want money at all? So why didn't she say yesterday, clearly, that she did or she didn't? She was very clever in what she said. She said that all these figures have been made up, 100 million, 50 million, whatever. Which what there must she, have been, because there's so many others. What she did not say was what she had asked for. She didn't. She, but, but she, she gave no. Say that because they're in the middle of negotiations. I mean, she 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 actually you know, she, did not want. To she talk did a about day that. of press yesterday, and she's in the middle of negotiations. She started here, and she went on all day. If she's so worried about about you know the backlash from from talking to people, from saying the wrong thing, she shouldn't have done a whole day of TV. But that was a human being breaking down, wasn't it? Sorry, but what, that, that, that was a human being saying, "I've had enough, and I need to have some recourse." But you know, to this if now. if I was Paul McCartney's lawyers, I would get that tape from this interview yesterday, and I would look. At this carefully because I tell you what she looked unhinged yesterday he now has a very good argument as to as, as to why he should have his daughter now we obviously got a lot of reaction from uh, from many of our viewers yesterday it, 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 both for and against let's have a listen to some of the things that, that you guys said I was appalled by the self-promoting performance given by Heather Mills on the GM TV today program a celebrity status gave her the ability to air her grievances a privilege not given to many really worthwhile causes she abused this position. To then use the McCanns in order to highlight her complaint was nothing short of a disgrace. I have never bought a newspaper for years because of what Heather is saying now. They handed Sarah Ferguson exactly the same. Thank goodness someone is fighting back at last. Go for it, Heather. We're all behind you. We want proper news, not rubbish. Heather Mills is a disgrace. If she wants to protect her daughter, then she should refrain from losing her rag on live television. How dare she compare herself to the McCann? Go on, Heather Mills. I hope the campaign works. The press have got away with murder for years and think they are untouchable. That's one of the difficulties, isn't it? Because we have such a divided reaction. We get so much uh, 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 response from the viewers saying, I can't believe you've had that woman on the program. Mm -hmm. And equally, on the other side, we'll have the reaction like that last woman there saying, go for it, someone's got to do this at some point. Someone's got to stand up to the press. I, I think the press, I think all of, a lot of the people who, uh, who aren't so keen on Heather would have more tolerance of her if she hadn't used the press unmercifully over the years for her own ends. You know, she said yesterday that people were making money out of her misery, the press. Well, no one's made more money out of misery th than she has. You know, Heather was the very first person to sell her story when she lost her leg many years ago which was a tragedy she was the first she would person say that to she's used the story. press particularly the last few years for her campaign she has it she's also used it for her own ends too you know she sold the story about her amputation to the highest mm -hmm. bidder when and she gave lost the her money leg. to charity no she did not years ago Fiona she did not that's she, what she said well, well obviously uh, the I'd, details I'd like, of that I'd like to see the details of that because because uh, I, I don't believe that's well true. that's details that we don't we, unfortunately we I don't don't we're going to get however she has used the press you know things get leaked the whole time from from mm. all sorts of camps from all sorts of people you know there were quotes in the papers today from her quotes friends now you know think people spe speak Look, at the end of the day though does that justify this attack now and of course she said it's going to happen and it's got worse today because she's riled you all up does that justify the headlines that she gets and, and, she and, said and yes, the, the attacks that she has she knows the media well enough to know what's going to happen when she spends a whole day doing TV and she starts accusing her ex-husbands of things she starts talking about being top off she stops, stops does it justify it though carol she 
I think Do she you knew, think it justifies I it? I think she knew exactly what she was doing yesterday. I think this is a warning shot across the bows at Paul McCartney about the divorce settlement. He's playing hardball now. I think this is Heather playing hardball. OK. Carol, thank you for joining us this morning. Obviously, uh, it's important to get your point of view. And, of course, we want to know what you guys think as well. You can see the whole in exclusive interview <laughs> with Heather Mills on our website. And do let us know your reaction this morning, gm.tv. And what has she ever done, really, to anyone? Who I've been, she's right about the treatment she's receiving. Well, tell us know, really? Let us know what you think about that, gm.tv. Yes, we'd love to hear from you. 17 minutes past seven.